This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a very unusual Sonico lock from Bulgaria. This Europrofile cylinder looks pretty ordinary at first glance. However, once you realize that the two cores are connected together by a solid cam mechanism, it becomes apparent that the only way to open this up is with a key on both sides at the same time, or one long key that reaches all the way through. And that's what we have here, one long key with mirror image bidding so that it can be inserted from either side. Now to open a lock like this, there are some pretty unique challenges, and the most important of which is that we need a pick that can reach all the way through this lock. And obviously, my normal pick just won't do the job. So what I had to do was take a pick and grind it down just a little bit so we could reach all the way through. And once we did that, it was relatively easy to open. Fortunately for me, the tolerances on this lock were relatively poor, and there were no security pins to trip me up. So let's get this in the vise and see what it takes to pick this open. Afterwards, of course, I will take it apart to show you what's inside. I am putting this in the vise with the breakaway portion closest to me. Now let's get some tension on this core. I'm gonna to use top of the keyway. And let's get to picking. One is loose. Click out of two, click out of three, little movement on the core, back to one. There's only three pins on this side, and we got a nice deep false set. That means this entire side of the lock is picked. Now I have to reach through to the very back and start picking the four pins on the opposite core. Okay. Starting on number one, got to click there. Click out of two. Click out of three. And click out of four, and we open this up. So let's take this guy apart and see what is inside this little cylinder. Okay, first we have to remove two clips. And frankly, I am not expecting to see any security pins or anything really unusual here. So I'm just gonna pull these cores out once I get them open. There we go, clip number one. And clip number two. Okay, here is the first core. I'm just gonna let those driver pins drop out. And as I suspected, they are all standard pins, though one of them appears to be an upside down key pin. We have some pretty hefty springs in here, surprisingly so. Now let's get them from the other side. And it can't hurt to use a follower on this side since we do have the option. Okay, as suspected, nothing but standard pins in here. Okay, this is a key pin, and the point is actually facing down. That's pretty unusual, so I'm gonna put these in exactly as they appeared in the core. Let's 
standard, standard, and standard, then all of these springs are the same. So really nothing to see here of interest. The only thing really unusual and noteworthy about this lock is the fact that there is no cam mechanism at all. This key simply reaches all the way through and connects the two cores together. So I will give you a close up of this. As you can see, all standard pins all the way around. The one really unusual thing is that we do have a couple of key pins that were in the top of the core. I saw in slot number four, which was slot one on the inner core, the bottom of the key pin was facing toward the actual key pin. That's pretty unusual. It really expands the the shear line in between these two pins. And because of the way I gutted it, I have no idea which way this one was. It could have been the exact same way. Moving over to the cores, nothing unusual about either one of them other than some relatively poor machining. So that's all I have for you on this Sonico Euro, Euro profile cylinder with the extraordinarily long key. If you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.